Yeah, cool. All right, darling. So, hi guys, we're watching it later on on recording. Apologies about tomorrow, uh, yesterday, but hopefully we can work today. So we're just gonna take our hands into that lovely Markham and Y. So try and pull the shoulder blades together, keep the core engaged, or just go side on. So you can, if you want, keep your feet firmly on the ground, or you can come up into that calf raise. Sandra and I were talking about injuries. I've done something, Sandra, to my foot. I have no, it feels like I've broken a toe. Um, I mentioned it last week, but I'm just kind of ignoring it. Because like you say, what do they do for broken toes? I did drop something on it, but I didn't think it were hard enough to break it last week, but anyway. You get very clumsy in your old age, don't you too? And one, well done. And then just keep feet down and just close your eyes if you can. And just take four big circles and just try and just relax. Keeping the core engaged and just tune in. Can you hear any clicking in the shoulder area? Serena well. And then the other way. And again, can you hear more of one side? Nice and slow. Last one. Good, so we'll keep with all that lovely shoulder movement. So again, take your arms out and then palms up to ceiling and then raise. And then lower. And again, palms up, raise. And lower. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Actually, while we're just on Sandra, I'll talk to you about, you know, I'm doing these wellness days with my breast cancer Yorkshire. Well, I think you do. I don't know if you do. Uh, let's go into some slow, so just low squats. Nothing too much. Just make sure, because obviously you're pushing out with your bum, so your pelvis... Not your pals, if your coccyx are getting a bit of a stretch. Um, not your coccyx, your lumbar, obviously. But yeah, so um, I'm doing one on Sunday where people pay, I think it's about £40 for the day, 45 We get guest speakers, I massage ladies, we have lunch. I'm thinking of doing one at Harewood House. So Sarah Williamson runs them. But yeah, I just thought it might be nice for all our ladies to come. So I'll send an email out, maybe September time, something like that. Two and one. Well done. And then just take one arm up and just gently come over into that side bend position. Taking a breath in. And out. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in, and then gently up. Yeah, so everyone watching, we're just gonna, we're not doing many squats today because Sandra's obviously a coccyx poorly, bless her. So yeah, Lorraine, feel free to do your 500 and take a breath in. Good, well done. And then back. And then, so sometimes if you've got an injury, it's amazing how the pelvis can be very affected. So we're just going to take one foot in front of the other. And again, take the hips backwards and chin towards the chest and just gently come down. So we're just going to flex the spine and just stop at the point where you just feel like you know, if you go much further, the hamstrings are going to feel a little bit too screechy. So just find that three to four on a discomfort scale. Take a lovely breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And then just gently come back up. Good. 
And then let's do it again. So bend that front knee, chin to chest, take it back. And just by having the knee bend, just see if it feels just a little bit more comfortable through the back of the leg. And again, just letting the head just hang, take a breath in. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And softly up. Beautiful, well done. Let's switch sides. So again, try and have the leg a bit straighter and just notice that sometimes that can feel just a bit too much through the hamstrings. So by softening the front leg that little bit more, it takes the pressure away. Take a breath in at the bottom. Out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth, last one, breath in, and gently up. So we're going to just have a really nice session just to get everything moving, guys, today. So let's come into kind of that warrior type pose. So that really nice, soft knee at the front and we're just going to take some little kind of bounces so just to get into the inner thigh a little bit and then we're just going to come over and then try and spiral does that make sense so try and kind of turn a little bit so you're taking the chest up towards the ceiling just take a breath in you can try and take that arm behind your back so you're actually creating more of a stretch for the pectoral wall the muscles that get super tight when we are kind of on a computer and then just gently come back up and then just take it into the nice circling ones so for two for three for four so we'll do a few ways to guys but nothing major today and two, well done, and one I'd say. And then just see if you can just bring the hands together. So my hands are behind my back and I'm gonna take a little chin to chest. And again, hips backwards and just gently forward. So you're stretching out through that lumbar area again. And just gently down. And then take your hands to your pesky a sacrum area for coccyx and then take the hands in front down onto the floor and just have a little kind of if you can see if you can bring your hands to your forehead and just have a little sideways movement just noticing how tight the legs can feel beautiful and then gently start bringing the feet back to centre. So I'm going to try and work on them, that kind of stretching of the lumbar quite a bit, Sandra, and then gently back in, up to standing position. And then we're going to take it into that other side. So again, yeah, my toes are so, so painful. Ah, what an idea. And then in and out, in and out. Good. So again, just feeling that kind of stretch through the groin area. And then just take it over, take a breath in. Try not to collapse in this shoulder and then just turn. You can take your hand there just to create a stretch or behind your back or just leave it over if it feels too much through the chest. Beautiful. And then gently back up and circle. And circle for two, for three, for four, two more, two, and one. Beautiful. Well done. Bring back to centre. And then we're just going to pick up and wait, guys. So use whatever you feel. If you've got two weights handy, 
two different sizes can sometimes work. So I've got a three here and I'm going to use a, a two and a half when I do something else. You might start with a one, you might start with a 1.5 or even a 0.5. So the harder ones, uh, the easier ones, I'm going to use the heavier weight. So bicep is usually easier. So keep the shoulders down. We're going to lift and lower. And then we're going to try and lift the leg and lower. Well, you can always do this seated, Sandra, if it bothers you standing too much with your injury hun. So remember, we can always sit down in a chair, guys. Four. Three. I don't know if Janet will catch up on this one. She likes doing my bow ones. But if you're watching Janet... Have an amazing time in Rome and Venice. Well done. And switch. So again, draw the tummy in. So one without a lift. And two. Well done, good. And then take the weight in the other hand again. Really try and elevate this kind of, think about, imagine a rope is pulling your head up, so keep the neck nice and long. Shoulder blades down, and then just transfer the weight slightly to the standing leg. And we're just going to lift for two. And then we're going to try and just keep the weight there and lift the leg. One, two. Lift for two. Try and lift just to balance if we can. Good. And one, two, lift, one, two. Two more, lift, one, two, lift, one, two. And again, last one, one, two, lift, one, two. Good work. The other side. So again, shoulder blades down, length with the crown of the head. We're going to lift one, two, lift one, two. So strength and balance at the same time. One, two, lift one, two. Excellent. One, two, shift your weight slightly. One, two. Good, four more, one, two, lift, one, two, three more, one, two, lift, one, two. Mr. David on Monday, tell him I'm doing Monday, I don't know if you've got plans, Sandra, it's bank holiday, but I am going to work this Monday. And one, two, otherwise all my Monday clients miss out on class. And two. Well done. Good. Okay, now just take it into that tricep one. So, so again, with tricep, we want to avoid this kind of swinging action. So look down at your foot. Just take your arms straight and then bend. And straight and bend. And straight and bend. Do five more for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Just kind of have a swivel and do that other side. So again, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Just last but not least, we'll do some front 
raises, um, we'll get down then after that Sandra, but we'll get some front raises and then some uh, done waiter. So we're just going to take it up for one, for two. Again, if you want to come up, you can. We'll stretch the calves out after this one. Well, after the done waiter. Eight, seven, six, five, four. It looks like quite a nice day out there today. We need some sun, don't we? Two, it's May for goodness sake. And one. And then just take your, you might not want to do first position, Sandra, just say, you might just want to go in parallel. So bring your weights together, draw the belly in, rib cage down, shoulder blades together as we take it out and in. And two and in. Three, so this really strengthens the shoulder girdle, but you get that nice little stretch for the pecs as well. And eight. Seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, and one. Well done, beautiful, well done. Just put your weights down and somewhere where you don't kick them like I did last week. And let's do the nice stretches. So take one foot over the other, keep the shoulders down. I always feel like I should turn my back on this one because obviously your left is my right, but anyway. Whichever leg's in front, take that arm out. So we know this stretch. Bring it across so you're getting into that deltoid muscle, the big shoulder muscle. Take a breath in. And out. In. And out, two more, last one, lovely, and then take that arm up to ceiling and bring the palm into the shoulder blades, pushing that other hand onto the top of the elbow to stretch out. Good. And then the hand that's on the elbow, place it on your head, top of the head, and the hand that's between the shoulder blades, bring it if you can behind the back, creating that stretch as you pull the shoulders together, taking an ear to shoulder down, stretching out through the neck, which can create lots of problems if it gets too tight. So feel that stretch. And then gently up. Oh, when I do that, sometimes I'm like, God, I really needed that stretch. And then to the other side. So again, it's just easy to remember if you put one foot in front of the other, which hand you've got, which hand you've got. And again, out, and then just that other one goes underneath. You pull it, you can always bend that elbow as well. Sometimes that gets it a little bit more, or a straight one, whichever feels better for you. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Last one. And then up. Oh, I don't know if Lorraine does the recordings, you know, but if you are Lorraine, I'm thinking about Lorraine on Sunday. Martin and I went to Robin Hood's Bay. And then on Monday we walked to Raven's Hill. I don't know if you've ever been. Sandra, but they're um, yeah to see the seals. Oh, they're so cute, very cute. But not great if you've got bad knees. My husband was moaning slightly, so I wouldn't be taking David, Sandra. And then pull that hand behind the back and really try and pull it. So you, this area here, like through your bicep tendon, can create a lot of problems for people. So just feel that deep stretch in the neck. Yeah, or I can 
and Serena would get back for lunch, but I think she thought it were half eleven, so... I've just done a one-to-one -one with her, so that's probably what prompted her. And then gently up. Well done. Brilliant. Just give yourself a couple of little shrugs. Oh. Mm. Lovely. Well done. So, let's just try your balance and then we'll get straight down on the floor, hun. So again, always be near a wall just in case you need it. Remember with tree posts, sometimes if the hips are a little bit not very mobile, you're best to just hold it there than to try and get it all the way up. So spread the toes. So really, whoop, I'm getting tired now. Push the big toe into the mat and the little toe. Hold on if you need and just do one hand at a time. Or oh, one shoulder. Do double. Do three more for three, two, and one. Lovely. And the leg you've been stood on, give it a good old stretch. So take it to the back. Really push. You can always push into a wall. So just feel that stretch through the calf muscle. Well done on the other side. So again, up into either in the inner thigh area or the lower calf. Yeah, and then we're just going to either keep one hand on the wall and take the other one up or both together. Inhale as we go up. Out breath. In. Beautiful. Two more. Really strengthening that supporting leg and keeping our shoulders lovely and mobile. Well done. Lovely. And then again, always start with like hands on the foot, on the foot, on the knees or against the wall and drive that heel into the floor. Feel that stretch through the calf. And relax. Well done. Beautiful. Okay, let's come down onto the floor. And I'll just give you a bit of time to come down. If your knees are a bit dodgy for cat to cow, you can always kind of come on to more of a double mat. And then we're just going to... So just watch your thin. If it doesn't feel comfortable into cow, Cassandra, then you can just kind of do your rounding into cat and then just into neutral. Yeah, so just see how it feels, guys. For some people, cow feels more comfortable for others, cat does. So take a breath in. And then gently, but sometimes if the back's a bit tender, that cow, cat pose can feel so relieving. And so you just be coming to kind of there if you didn't want to go into lumbar extension. Yeah, so always just remember we're all different. We've all got, sometimes I just do this at first and just, same when I'm doing bridge, I'll show you some little bridges where we just kind of almost do a pelvic imprint with these. Just remember that sometimes, you know, just because one day you don't feel like you can do the full movement doesn't mean that you won't be able to another day. But it just can sometimes be too much to do the full one. Mmm, always feels so good, cow to cat. And two more. And if it doesn't feel too much, just come back into that lovely stretch of the lower lumbar spine by going into like a child's post, uh, position. And think a 
about your breath. Think about providing some space by encouraging the ribcage to go up and out on an inhale. Out, breath release. And again. Two more. Oh, Jack, say up, Jack gets to do it. I think she were open to be on today, but it's obviously been called into work. And then if you can, go gently, but just gently bring both arms round to one side. Take the top hand over the bottom hand so you're feeling this stretch through the lap dorsi muscles. Again, again, get super tight. Well done. So we're going to do some work to just really um, strengthen the upper. So sometimes if you've got an injury, just come and lie on your tummies, but sometimes if you've got an injury in the lumbar spine, um, you know, it can be really uncomfortable. And often the upper thoracic loses a lot of strength because it's in that rounded lengthened position. So we're going to try and strengthen the upper thoracic. So what I want you to do is lie on your tummies. Push your pubic bone down into the mat. Draw the navel in. So imagine that really hot curl underneath your navel. And we're going to literally drive our shoulder blades down. And we're just going to lift our arms away. If you can, lift your chest and head as well. And just hold that position. Squeezing the scapula together. Hold. Keeping the core engaged. Your lower back shouldn't be moving. And then lower back down again. Have a little wiggle. And again, push the pubic bone down. Draw the navel in. Slide the shoulder blades down. Length through the crown of the head and lift. And can you take one hand behind your back? So you're really creating, and then really pull the scapula together, creating a stretch through the pec wall. And then back, lower back down. Have a little wiggle. And again, push the pubic bone down, draw the shoulder blades down, lift either whole, or can you take it back, just one side feel much tighter than the other, and almost have a little, not a twist, but kind of, kind of a little twist to open up. Gently back, gently back down. Give it a little wiggle, side to side. And then take your palms in, to your trousers. So a good one for David, these as well, Sandra. Push the pubic bone down, draw the tummy in, slide the shoulder blades down, and just again, just gently lift the head and the chest away. Keep that tailbone tucked. Take one hand or one arm out to the side, hold it. Gently back to centre. The other arm, hold it. Back to centre. Both arms together, hold, back to centre, lower back down, again a little wiggle, always releasing that lower area. This is quite nice actually Sandra, just while I think on, tuck your, toe, uh, tuck your toes and just take both heels to one side and then the other side, you can sometimes create a nice little stretch in the back, a little bit like windscreen work. And then let's go again. Push your pubic bone down, draw the tummy in. This time we're gonna lift up into dart. And then take one arm out to capital T. Sometimes you can do these with little hand weights if you really wanna increase the strength in the shoulder area. Back in, the other way. Let's see if I can try actually. Back in, oh that's too, no that's too big for me. Oh God. <laughs> and then just lower back down, take a little, I said a little hand weights. And then again, push the pubic bone down, draw the tummy and lift again. Take one arm out to the side, gently back. Another one out to the side. 
Gently back. Both arms together. Reach, reach, reach. Back in. Lower back down. Little wiggle again. One more. Push the pubic bone down. Draw the tummy in. Slide the shoulders down. Keep the core engaged. Reach. One arm out. Back in. The other one. Back in. Both together. Back in and lower. And just take your hands to the side of your head and have a lovely windscreen wipe. Side to side. Just because that coccyx area is quite tender, Sandra, I think I'm going to keep away from bridge actually today, hon. And just side to side. If you can, I know this is difficult for some people, so just continue doing windscreen if it is. If you can, grab that foot, grab it, push the pubic bone down. Always reminds me of your lovely husband, this stretch, because he always gets his band to do it. Good. On the other side. Excellent. Well done. So let's come over onto our backs. And let's just really try and strengthen the core. Yes, yeah? so we're not doing any crazy moves, but we're going to really try. So particularly, obviously, if you've hurt your coccyx anyway, you don't want to be forcing everything down. You really want to try and keep a neutral spine. So think about those lovely tray of drinks that are very level. They're not forcing forward or backwards. And then just take the hands underneath the head. And try and keep the elbows super, super wide. So think about something hot on the belly button, a hot curl, draw the belly button in so your tummy's nice and flat, the ribs are in and down, chin towards the chest, and lift up for one, two, three. Lower, one. Lift up, one, two, three. Lower, one. Lift up, one, two, three. Lower, one. And again, one, two, three. So the lower back's not moving, it's all coming from the upper. One, two, three, lower one. And again, one, two, three, lower one. One, two, three, lower one. One, two, three, lower. Well done, come into that straight leg. So again, just close your eyes for a second. The legs should be nice and relaxed on the mat and the bum should feel like it's nice and flat on the back. You've got a little gap underneath that lower lumbar spine and then the rib cage is in and down. So exactly the same move but in a straight leg. Chin to chest, lift, one, two, three. Hold, lower one. Lift, one, two, three. Lower two. Lift, one, two, three. Lower three. Lift, one, two, three. Lower four. Lift, one, two, three. Lower one. Two more. One, two, three. Lower. One, two, three. Lower. Well done. Moves do not have to be big to work the car. Take your arms out to capital T. Let's just take a nice um, bent knee, inner thighs touching, again, give yourself a pelvic tilt, make sure you're in neutral spine. Inhale as you take the knees to the right, the head to the left. Exhale, draw the tummy in more, bring the knees back to centre. So think about this as having a dual purpose. It's stretching the lumbar spine, that lovely lower back, but it's also using the core muscles to bring the knees back to centre. So we inhale as we come over. Allow the belly to expand on that inhale and then out breath, draw the belly back in, back to centre. And again. So three more each side. Back to centre. Good. Let's do two more.
exhale, you're going to inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, back to center, the other way. Beautiful, gently back in and then just take a nice kind of real hug, oh, hugging those knees into chest. Can have a little roll, this may feel nice or not, depending on where it touches. Sandra, bless you. Beautiful. Well done. So, we're just going to do some um, work for the glutes. So, this is for Serena, because Serena is one of the crazy ones that loves side leg. So, just again, find that position where you're thinking of the bottom hand being directly opposite to the top foot. So, in direct opposition, as far away as possible. Lift up that bottom waist, keep the knee bent. And then we're just going to lift. We're trying to keep the pelvis super still. We're going to lift for two. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. It's nice out there, but I don't think it's planned nice for the weekend, is it? Bit of a shame. Six. I don't think we've had a full day, have we? We've just had a nice blue sky. And four. Three. Two. And one. And then just let it rest. Just let it just relax a little bit. And then just lift again. This time circle for eight, circle for seven, four, six, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Circle back, eight, seven, nearly there, six, five, four, three, two and one well done and then just see if you can if you can't grab the foot just let the knee let the leg kind of come backwards just so you're stretching out a bit through them quad muscles again And then on to your back. If you've got your ball, place the ball underneath your head, unless you're Serena, because you don't like it underneath the head. Just helps you get that glute a little bit. So the leg you've been lifting and lower, remember it's always that one that goes on here. So we're going to do figure four stretch and piriformis today. Or you can lift up the foot, pushing that knee with the same hand away from the body. Hold. And then underneath leg straight, then take that leg into tabletop, use the same hand to push the inner knee towards the opposite shoulder, lift up, just pull and push. So it's a pull on the lower outer calf and a push on the inner, uh, sorry, the outer knee. Whoa, I can really feel that. And then take the hand away from the outer knee and the one that's at the lower calf, just place it on just to help you twist. Again, try and relax into it. Release it a little bit if it's too much. Sometimes by just coming in and out before you hold it. It's gone quick this class today. Oh. Lovely. And just because when you work the glutes, you get into that posterior of the whole leg, we're just going to grab it before we do the other leg. And we're just going to flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. You can have some softness in the knee as well. Really nice for lymphatic flow, this one. And then circle. Circle back 
And then take it straight again and just take it in and out. In, out, in, out, in, out. And then just squeeze the toes in and wave them away. Again for Selena. I'll smile at the screen even though she's not there, but she will do it sometime. And lovely, well done. Just take the ball away if you've got it and just gently. So look, I don't know if you can see here, but because I've stretched out that glute, that knee is so much higher than the one I've just stretched out. And that's because if the periformis gets too tight, it can really affect that hip mobility. And it's not unusual for some people to have one knee up here if they've got a really tight periformis. And then just gently in your own time, just get round to that other side, whether it's a roll up or you just want to gently come round. If you're doing a roll up, chin towards the chest, the ribs come towards the hips, reach forward, have a good old stretch of the lumbar spine and the hamstrings before you come back up. And we'll do these final ones on here. Okay, so we always want the hips facing forward. The knee is bent, lift up out of the bottom waist, hold, and we're just lifting and lowering, trying not to create any space difference in the waist, so the waist keeps lifted, you keep that little gap underneath it. I'm trying to be really good and do a bit of fasting before my retreats, I'm trying just to eat between the hours of one and nine. I cannot tell you how hungry I am, I feel like I want to eat my arm at the minute. So I am so looking forward to a lovely lunch. I'm going to have spicy mackerel and spicy tomato sauce with some shredded white sweet heart cabbage. Might be some people's idea of hell, but lovely for me. And then gently down, Serena will be going, Ugh, uh. <laughs> and again, hold, and circle. so good during the week and then the weekend last weekend went a bit peak time cocktails and you know hashtag balance and all that beautiful and then on to, oops onto your back and again take that foot just place it on the knee push you don't have to physically push it away, but really feel that you're pushing that knee away. This glute feels a little bit tighter than the other one. So you don't always have to bring the leg up. Sometimes that makes people cramp a little bit in the inner thigh. But I can already feel this a little bit more nervy, which makes me realise how much I need to stretch this leg out. Always my right. And then again, just push that inner knee towards the opposite shoulder, lift up and just pull in. Whoa, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need to roll, I think, on my bum. Just feel. And then take that hand away, just take the other one, just to bring that foot over, just to get into the stretch near the SI area, that sacroiliac joint. So yeah guys, so hopefully you're catching up and you hear me talking to you on the catch up. So again, apologies about yesterday, very annoyed. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you'll have enjoyed class. So just hold the back of the leg and again just flex and point, flex, point, flex, point, 
flex, final circle, 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 circle back. Beautiful. Take the toes in, wave and away. Toes in and away. In and away. And then take the foot in, out, in, out, in, out. And then just gently come back with the feet. Just take the soles of the feet together. Yeah, that just needed a good old stretch, that bum. And then again, just butterfly a little bit. Oh, I enjoyed that, Sandra. I right? enjoyed that. <laughs> and then come over onto your front again. And we're just going to try and take it just into that downward dog. You don't have to if you don't want to, guys. But just to drive that heel one at a time down to the mat. Sometimes the calves can get super tight if you've been doing a lot of walking. And then on the next one, hold it down. Hold it down for a count of ten. Good, on the other side. Lovely, soften the knees and gently back to the floor and softly bring everything back up to standing position. Oh, thank you. We just said bye.